costing it is a butter guess Our customer, he names the price We can decline but we say yes Without no work our foundry dies I expect that foundry is about the hottest place in the Midlands at the moment, as I'm sure Brian's about to confirm. Yes, like all metal casting is eventually, we're only going to get rust from this. There's a showery evening ahead, although some places in the east of the region may stay dry. So some dry spells overnight, but the showers will return and become more frequent by morning. You'll find a lot of cloud in the east Midlands tomorrow morning with quite a few showers. The brightest, driest weather will be in the west of the region. Those showers will continue in the afternoon, prolonged and perhaps even heavy at times. The damp, cool and breezy weather will continue into the evening. And tonight's very colourful weather picture comes from 10-year-old James White, who goes to Newfield Park Primary School in Hales Owen. The outlook still showery on Saturday, improving on Sunday. And that's just the sort of forecast that's been welcomed today in Birmingham by none other than Tommy Steele. He'll be starring in, guess what, Singing in the Rain, which opens at the Birmingham Hippodrome just before Christmas. He's been in the city today, talking to Alan Towers. And the rain came too. <laughs> I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. I'm laughing at clouds so dark up above. Tommy Steele, as ever, ready to oblige with an impromptu performance. Singing in the Rain is a lavish show, but what was the magic that made it such a hit? I think, really and truly, the story. It's a great story. The songs, everybody's friend, my friend too. The dance routines, fantastic. The sets, fantastic. And that, it's one of those things that song and dance man's dream, you know. Looking around for a good story, a good song and a good dance routine. And that's what this show's got. You've always worked in busy shows, and this yeah. is very much that, isn't oh, it? Oh, very, very. It, it's a non-stop show for me because I change 12 times during the show. Some of the changes are on stage, some of the changes are off stage. And that's naturally the big change which goes from the singing in the rain number into the trying to look all cool, calm and after getting soaked by a thousand gallons of, of water. We worked out this, a thousand gallons falls on me in about four minutes. That's the change that kills me because there I have to be embarrassed. I, I was always embarrassed for the first week till you get used to the girl dressers because it takes five of them to strip me off completely and get me dressed again and you can't, you can't, no inhibitions, you can't have anything like that. <laughs> of course this is a Christmas entertainment, is it going to suit a family audience? Oh, Singing in the Rain, the greatest family show you can imagine, I wouldn't be in anything else anyway. Do you ever get tired with this kind of routine? Because as I say, you're perpetually busy on stage, you seem to enjoy being busy, do you ever get flaked out? Well it usually takes me about a day to get over eight performances, but this show's a very hard show for a dancer, you see because it's tap dancing, and the tap dancing affects the knees, and that's the first thing to go, as you know, being a footballer. <laughs> well, give us a twirl before we go here. I'm going to try and... To do this trick in the open air, I've never done it in the open air before, but the greatest trick with this is trying to catch it when it goes up in the air. Whether you get it or not, I'll go back a bit, give you, give you a bit of a chance. If I miss this, it's the only time I'm going to miss it in Birmingham. For every other performance, I'll catch it. Oh, that okay. A little twirl before you say goodbye. Super. <laughs> and it's not just Tommy Steele who benefits from the rain, as you'll see from our closing pictures that we leave you with tonight. See you tomorrow. Delane, good night. Good night. <laughs> tonight on BBC One. In a moment, Top of the Pops, then at 7.30 EastEnders, and Angie has some bad news for Sharon.
I'm sorry, darling. The band is barred. Your father is adamant on the subject, and that is the end of that. At 8 o'clock, Body Matters discovers how muscles work with a little help from the world's strongest man, Jeff Capes. Jeff Capes, are you any good with phone books? Well, not really. I think Martin started at the beginner stage, but uh, we... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> At 8.30 in Sharon and Elsie, gambling fever grips Blake and Sons. No good will come of it, and you mark my words, no good will come of it. Horse racing kill me, Uncle Arthur. How could horse racing kill him? He got knocked down by a bus on his way to Aintree. <laughs> After the news, at 9.30, the Bolshoi Ballet, a film portrait of the celebrated Russian company featuring many of its legendary stars, past and present. With European Athletics at 11.40, that's all tonight on BBC One. So now we join John Peel and Janice Long for a live edition of Top of the Pops.